our YouTube. Um, today I'm going to be showing you uh, some effects or uh, certain stuff you can do in Cinema 4D. I will be doing a tutorial later um, on how to make something effect like this. Um, which is like it just like has an opening door at the end of uh, dark designs, etc. Um, it's going to be how to make a avatar spinning, such as this right here, where um, you can just do whatever. I just uh, randomly uh, came around a tutorial that showed how to do the actual ball bearing part of this without the second ball bearings in the center. Um, I'll give a link to that. Um, other than that, all these materials were self-created. I'll show you how to do those later. And um, more about lighting. But you'll need two programs uh, to actually get your avatar, which is of course Cinema 4D and Photoshop. Photoshop is where you're going to import your video from layers. You can do this also for any graphic image file or GIF. So uh, let's get started. Go to File New, or just open it up. I'm gonna recenter it using this icon up here, or pressing three and dragging, and uh, I'm just gonna put it right there. All right. What I'm gonna start off doing is adding a plane as my background, uh, as my floor instead of using the actual floor, and uh, I'm just gonna stretch this out a bit. Uh, no, enlarge it because I missed some areas over there, and uh, now we got that. Uh, let me uh, put this right here, shrink this up a bit, put this actually on top. Okay, let me go. Um, ignore that, I had fraps open, I don't know why it's still doing that though. Alright, um, we're going to change our output right now um, to 150 by 150 make sure you do all frames uh, that doesn't matter save it as a quick time options um, I'm just going to name this single 30 save it um, don't need to worry about any of those anti-aliasing uh, best sync, don't need to worry about any of those options. Take off auto light if you have this feature, and on the right threshold, go up five for each of these. So, like so, and I can close that. And uh, I'm just going to angle it more because I didn't get the rest of that in background, so I didn't want to have it black. Alright, now the actual part. I'm just going to do a basic one using tubes and uh, maybe a sphere. I don't know. Alright, so first off, create your text. I'm going to be doing dark designs. Um, now, don't change anything after you already get your text. You don't want to rotate it, whatever. Because when you use extrude nerves, it's going to uh, mess it all up. So, just uh, when you go in, you're going to have to click and drag over, click Extreme Nerves, and uh, click and drag your text into it. And now click on the Extrude Layer, go to Object, click on this, and you can just use your scroll wheel to increase it. I'm just going to keep it about 38, now go to Caps, and we're going to use Filet. On both of these, I'm going to set the steps to 10, radius to about 1, and Keep these at 5 for each. Now I'm going to go to my object, choose different font. I'm going to use a boombox, maybe. I don't know what. Uh, no, I'm going to use Decker if I can find it. Decker. Uh, bold Decker, and the rest you can just do whatever. Alright, now that you got that, now you can. You size it, but I'm going to go and uh, move this up. And now click. And when you're rotating like this, see, I already messed up with my font, so I have to restart that. So, text. 
I'm not going to change the font, but uh, extrude nerves, go down, and uh, I'll just put the phrase on. Uh, rotating when you're rotating like this, make sure you hold shift, and as you can see, it goes up uh, increments of five. You go 90, and then grab your move tool, and for the arrow, when it's down here, just go up one, so it's at 10. And now put it towards the front, around right here, shrink it so it fits like so. I'm going to angle this a bit more to about right here. Drag this back. And under it there, and now uh, resize it with a And uh, now we have that. I'm going to create a custom material. So, file, new material. Double click it, and uh, Let's choose a color. I'm going to use blue. Uh, I'm not going to mess with anything else except hit the texture button, hit filter, go up to filter, and uh, actually don't do filter. So I'll go back to color and go back to blue. So here, all right. Go to reflection, check mark it, bring the reflection down. To about 30, or lower, depending on your color. All right, go to specular, change the width down to around 30 or 20. At least 20. Uh, height, same thing, or about 15. The follow-up increase, and uh, now you can actually increase your width a bit. And decrease your height. You want to get sort of that feeling. All right, now if you just click and drag onto it, you got color text. All right, now uh, I'm going to add my objects. So I'm going to go to tube, and uh, let's just make this a bit bigger. Um, shrink the height of it to about right there. Now, the radius around there. And uh, if you want these dimensions, you can just pause the video right here and copy all those if you feel. And uh, I'm actually going to shrink this up now and uh, increase the height, maybe the radius. I can find it. That's good. Right, now again with the rotating, make sure you hold shift, so it's at 90, now bring it up, this is going to be my outer ring, so make sure it's right on the floor, and pull it up towards your text, that way it fills up more room, and your image doesn't look uh, like it's missing some stuff, so you can just mess around with these settings. Make this up again, pull it down, and uh, we should be good. You can just hit Control R to render, and uh, of course I don't have anything because I had no lights, so let's create a light real quick. I'm going to use area light, increase the width of this, and the height, and now raise it up above so you can't see it, and now back about where you get that sort of effect. In your light thing, make sure you have shadow soft or you can go over here. And now when you render, you should have this sort of effect right here. It's going to go slow on that, but I just wanted to see the ring, how it looked. And I'm going to create a material for the ring. Go to shader, new key, and diffuse a Double click it and now choose a uh, sort of grayish white. Go to uh, Specular 3 and choose a dark kind. 
and now I just click and drag onto it. See what that looks like. Looks pretty good. You can see the reflection now inside of that from the designs. And uh, I'm going to actually go to my light again and uh, hold Control and drag up. So it gives that another one, but this is going to be too bright, so I'm going to turn the intensity down to around 60 and put it back to area light. And now uh, let's see what this looks like.